everyone, this is Carrie with kosherwine.com, one of the wine consultants, and today I'm going to show you how to properly open a bottle of sparkling wine. I know everybody loves the celebratory buzzing and popping when the cork flies, but that can be dangerous and cause a lot of spillage. So how do we prevent that? First of all, we always want to, um, I'm, by the way, I'm using our Festa Prosecco, which is one of my favorites for making mimosas um, in any kind of bubbly beverage uh, for celebrations. So that you weren't going to want to take the foil off. Most of the, most champagnes, um, sparkling wines, the foil is actually going to be really easy. There's a little tab usually, and you can just kind of open it up, like a uh, flip it around here and then just take it off. Then you're going to actually um, take your wire and your cage and you're going to unscrew it but don't take it off. That's a little trick. Some people take it off. I like to keep it on and here's why. It just adds a little layer of protection. Then we're gonna actually um, hold the bottle. I always like to wipe the top off a little bit. Hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle away from you. That way, if you do mess this up and it pops, you're not gonna get a cork in the eye. But always keep the, your thumb, your finger, uh, finger or thumb on the metal cage at the top. And then actually what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to twist the bottle, not the cork. So as you're gonna twist the bottle, slowly, slowly, you're gonna eventually then hear a little fizz. So I'm gonna actually use, my bottle was um, chilled, so it's got some condensation on it. There you go. So it's not popping out so that you're hitting somebody in the eye. It's not drizzling over. And now you're easily able to pull the cork out. To pour, make sure you have your champagne flute. Hold it at a 45 degree angle as well, right at the lip. And then slowly, you're going to see all, the, all those nice bubbles. I almost lost it, actually. All those nice bubbles to prevent any spillage into your glass. 